What's up, you Jelly Ink subscribers? This is Iconate, and this is Iconate's Lounge. So, my little segment is all about anime, manga, and of course, statue collecting, because that's what I like to do. I also do pop hunts, uh, as you can tell with these little guys right here. So, today, for my first review, I'm going to go ahead and review a statue. It is by a company called Amakuni. Uh, Hobby Japan, and it's Noel Vermilion. Oh yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, Noel Vermilion is from a game called Blaze Blue. Right there, Blaze Blue. That's right. Uh, this is the box. So as you can tell, it's a pretty big box. It's definitely more than a foot, like in like width wise. And just to give you guys a little show, that's how the statue is supposed to look right there. And this box is not in color. The one that I got is the two player version. And I bought this over at Fanime 2015 this year. I came down to the little dealer hall and I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, I got to have it. Oh, and uh, just a little side note this is Moose. And it's pretty late right now. We haven't eaten anything. So he's just grubbing down on some Jack in the Box egg rolls. But before we get to the actual review, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do like a little video montage of the statue by itself. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that right now. <laughs>
seen the figure up close and personal. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here she is. So as you saw in the video, the details of the statue is actually really, really good. The creases and furls on her dress right here. Boom. The little no, I'm not trying to go in there. The little uh, little spikes on her on her dress, the way it froze up in the back as well. So it's definitely a almost she was captured frozen in time doing her motion, doing her special move. This motion is uh when she does one of special moves and she basically points the gun and shoots um shoots out like a bolt of energy. Um so it's actually a pretty cool pose. I like the fact that there's a lot of like little minute details. Um like these little things that come all the way around. Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> this one too, right next to her leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull her off. Alright, so now we have to really see her up close. So there this statue by no means is perfect. Uh there are a few things I don't like, but more on the details. If you look at like her, her little arm right there, her hat, the little creases, the style of paint. The paint's really, really well done for the most part. Um, I like the way it, it's glossy and it's not like a matte finish. Uh, you can see that. There, see how it's like it shimmers and shines the light. Um, I like the fact that the skin... Her skin isn't of the same paint style because that would be just weird if she was just shiny all over. But the way she sculpted her was really well done. I love I love the motion that was captured in Frozen. Like her tie, her her little breasts. I don't know if you can even see that, but she's, it's right there. So they did they sculpted her really, really well. There are a few imperfections that I that I can see. Uh, and I'm just going to be nitpicking now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the camera. I'm just going to be nitpicking now. So right here on her gun. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. Well, right there. See how there's like a little blemish? Um, there's little tiny things on here too, uh, little surface areas that are not as smooth as they should be, but that's just me nitpicking out. Um, for the most part, I think this statue is really, really well done. Uh, they haven't missed anything, so you got the creases, you got the little hooks, you got the guns, of course, got the pose, and of course you also have her underwear. It's all there. So she's not going commando or anything, so don't get your hopes up. Alright? But I just love, like, everything about, like, the details. Like, her face. Look at that cute little face. So, yeah. Um, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to have it for my collection. So. There she is. Oh. And on another note, the base has, as you can see in the glare, has a design on it. It's actually a pretty awesome design. I like the way it's actually raised up so you can feel it. Uh, definitely need to clean this though. So I'm going to do that right now. Right there. It's all nice and raised up. So when you put her down on it, it's kind of weird. Like part of her actual foot is in the base. So stick her foot in there. Stick this one back. And boom. There she is. Alright. So so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Uh, I know that five, six, seven minutes of your life is something and 
<clears throat> if you would like to go ahead and like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on Twitter, follow us. Oh, not subscribe to us, I'm sorry. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube. That would help us out tremendously. If you have any comments at all, please, please let us know. Uh, please give us the comments. We love to read them. Um, it's not just me. It's the collector. It's Moose uh, and Rose who love to see those comments. And um, we hope that you guys enjoy this. We bring you guys our adventures. And on to the next one, I guess. All right. It's going to be on to the next one. The next one, I'm going to have a special treat for you guys from Kotobukiya. Uh, it is from a anime series called Excel World. And I'll probably be posting that up pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to us if you guys want to see our adventure. Subscribe to us because we also got reviews coming in for pop figures as well as a video montage of our collections. So give us, uh, give us, give us your time. We appreciate all of it. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.